Meow. 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 There are 6,759 bomb flowers in Tears of the Kingdom, and I decided to collect all of them, every single last bomb flower. Along the way, I discovered that most bomb flowers are easy to find. However, some bomb flowers are so well hidden, they might as well be invisible. Here are the 10 most hidden bomb flowers that you likely did not find in Tears of the Kingdom. Number 10. Nicknamed Sly because it's starring in its own remake of the movie Cliffhanger, this bomb flower is located in the depths below Mount Naboru and the Gerudo Canyon Pass, and it's sitting high up on a ledge that's very easy to miss or ignore. And even if you somehow decided to check out the ledge, the terrain of the ledge makes this bomb flower nearly impossible to see until you're almost right on top of it. Number 9. Nicknamed Sidekick, this bomb flower is located above Meta Canyon Mine, near Meta Lava Falls, in the depths, and is a great example of hiding in plain sight. Everything about the general location of this bomb flower, including the nearby tree, suggests that it should be located in the main pathway of the giant depth route, but it's not. Instead, it's located off the side of the route on a little platform sitting here for everybody to miss. Number 8 Nicknamed Bear because it's hibernating in the back of a cave-like area, this bomb flower is located in the depths below the Breach of Demise, and it's sitting all alone in its cave with a very well-hidden entrance. With so much gloom covering the outside and inside of the cave, and not much else worth checking out nearby, it would be easy to ignore this area and the bomb flower. Number 7 Nicknamed Troll because the ledge it's sitting on seems to promise greater rewards, this bomb flower is located above the landing area for Burita Lookout Chasm. Even with every light route activated, the troll ledge is extremely difficult to notice from the chasm landing area. And if you do notice it and decide to head up to check it out, hopeful for some fantastic reward, you'll get trolled when you find nothing more than a bomb flower and two zoni deposits. It's far more likely that you would be ecstatic to find the 12 bomb flowers located on the chasm landing area and move on and completely miss the troll ledge bomb flower. Number 6 Nicknamed Gloomy because of its location in the middle of a sea of gloom, this bomb flower is located in the depths below Deep Akale and tucked inside a small crevice in the ground that is very easy to miss thanks to it being almost completely covered in gloom both inside and out. Since most people prefer to avoid the gloom, this bomb flower managed to find one of the best hiding spots in all of Hyrule. Number 5 Nicknamed Nessie because it's hidden in a lake, this bomb flower is located in the massive body of water situated in the southern part of the depths below Farron. It's very well hidden because of its location in a fairly remote part of the depths and because it's actually sitting at the bottom of the lake. Even if you manage to spot this bomb flower with the help of Ultra Hand or Fuse, you'll still need to Ultra Hand something down to the bottom of the lake to retrieve it. Number 4 Nicknamed Chunk in reference to the Goonies character who joins his friends on a treasure hunt along a series of tunnels, this bomb flower is located northeast of the abandoned Karakara mine in the depths. Similar to number 6 on this list, this bomb flower's crevice was a bit more difficult to find. In fact, I was moments away from declaring this bomb flower unreachable before I shocked myself by stumbling upon the entrance to the small tunnel. Number 3 Nicknamed Fish because it's hiding at the bottom of a deep pool of water, this bomb flower is located near Upland Zorana Skyview Tower in the back of Upland Zorana Byroad Cave. After opening the door in the back of the cave, you might be able to catch a glimpse of the bomb flower at the bottom of the small pool with Ultra Hand activated. 
but even after you see it, good luck retrieving it. In addition to being one of the most difficult bomb flowers to find, it's also one of the most difficult to get. It took a wooden board attached to another wooden board, attached to a sword, attached to another sword, attached to a spear to bring it up from the bottom of the pool. Number two. Nicknamed Reaper after the extra spicy Carolina Reaper chili pepper, this bomb flower is located above Sherfin's Lava Falls in the depths and was just the seventh bomb flower on my all bomb flowers route. Obviously, bomb flowers can't grow near a lava fall, which is why you won't find any near the Fire Temple and Death Mountain areas. But they can, apparently, grow above a lava fall. And you'll have to go above the top of Sherfin's Lava Falls to find this bomb flower sitting on a small ledge with an equally hidden muddle bud located nearby. Before we get to number one, it's worth checking out a few honorable mentions, like this bomb flower located northwest of Corvash Canyon Mine, this one located south of Ebon Canyon Mine, this one located northeast of Gerudo Canyon Mine, and this very tired bomb flower located at the Construct Factory in the depths that was the only bomb flower with this unique rotation. Number one. Nicknamed Casper because it's basically a ghost, this bomb flower is located in the depths below Zora's domain and was nearly impossible to find, even though I knew the exact coordinates and had my sensor set to target bomb flowers. In fact, even telling you that the bomb flower is not unreachable and is actually located behind the tube-like structure snaking along the top of the wall near abandoned Lanayru mine won't help you much because figuring out how to get behind the structure is not exactly a straightforward task. And if you do manage to stumble upon the sliver of an entrance to get behind the tube-like structure, you'll still have to make your way inside and search for the bomb flower sitting nestled behind a corner. Only then can you pick up the most hidden bomb flower in Tears of the Kingdom.